<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I will admit something. I'm a pretty big fan of the Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories Grand Theft Auto games for the PSP. In fact, Liberty City Stories is the main reason why I even wanted and got my first PSP way back in the day. However, there was a really cool piece of software I saw back then for custom firmware systems called Cheat Device, which you could hook into Liberty City Stories at least. Well, developer Freakler has essentially remastered or even remade it, so to speak, for both Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories in the form of Cheat Device Remaster. I'm going to show you all how you can download it and set it up and run it. But first, you're going to need a few prerequisites. First of all, you're going to need your console of choice, whether that's going to be a PSP running custom firmware or a modified PlayStation Vita running Adrenaline. I do have videos showing how to set up all of those devices and pieces of software. You're also going to need your game or games. This does work for both Liberty City Stories as well as Vice City Stories. However, do keep in mind this does not work for the Japanese versions of these games, so you are going to need a copy of either one of the games as long as it is not a Japanese version, and you will need it backed up and running on your modified Vita with Adrenaline or PSP running custom firmware. And of course, you're going to need a computer to download and transfer a few files. So with those prerequisites out of the way, let's go ahead, move over to our computer and get started. I'm going to have the link for Cheat Device Remastered down below in the description of this video. But right here, you'll come over to the GitHub page for this and Freakler has organized this pretty well here. Like I said, this does work for both Liberty City and Vice City stories. There's some information about this and some installation instructions, which essentially we're going to be following along here and I'm going to be adapting onto the video itself. It is also worth noting here with the compatibility notes, as I said, this does not work with the Japanese releases of the game. Uh, this has been tested on PSP, Adrenaline, as well as PPSSPP, but if you're going to be emulating this straight up within the PPSSPP emulator, it is at about 98% compatibility, and this will not work with the mobile versions. So we're going to be doing this on the PSP or using Adrenaline. So for this here, once you come over to the GitHub page, I would recommend giving it a read and then click on releases over on the side. Once you come over to the releases page, scroll down and you want to find the latest release and you want to download the latest version of this release zip. In the future, you're probably going to be seeing a newer release than this, but just grab the latest zip and download it somewhere you can easily find it. Once you have this downloaded somewhere, grab your zip file, right click and extract it into its own folder just like this. And here we go, we should have the Cheat Device Remastered folder, which we can open up. And inside of here, you're going to see a readme as well as a Cheat Device underscore Remastered folder. And inside of here is going to be all the extra fun stuff that you will need. If you want to give this a read, go ahead and check out the readme. It is recommended to give this a quick read here. There's a lot of good information here. And like I said, the installation instructions, which I will be covering here visually. But if anything confuses you at all, you can just check out the simple instructions here and hopefully get it resolved. So now with everything downloaded and assuming you're running a modified system with the game already copied over and backed up, you now need to transfer over these files and get everything set up. For this here, if you're using a PSP, navigate all the way over to settings and go into USB connection. Or you can actually pull out the memory stick if you're using a memory stick adapter or Pro Duo and connect it up to your computer. Alternatively, if you're using a PlayStation Vita using the Adrenaline application, you will need to go into Vita Shell, go ahead, open this up, and transfer over your files and folders like you normally would. You can press the start button and then choose how you want to transfer everything over using either FTP or USB. I'm going to be using FTP for this. Close out of that and then press the select button and you can now either connect to your system through FTP on your network or connect it up physically to your computer using a USB connection. Now covering the PSP, make sure your PSP's storage has been hooked up and it should look a little something like this. Then make sure you have your cheat device remastered already extracted. First of all, we're going to need this folder right here. So in order to place this on our PSP storage, you do have to go into the storage itself, go into the PSP folder, right click, create a new folder if you do not see this and call it plugins. If you already have a plugins folder, you don't have to make it, but I made it since I don't have one here. Inside of the plugins folder, 
you now need to go over to the Cheat Device Remastered folder that you've extracted, the one that has the scripts and the INI files and such, but right click this entire folder, copy it out, and paste it directly into the plugins folder. It should look like that. Next, we need to come to the root of the PSP storage, go into the SE plugins folder, and if you don't have one, you can right click and create a new folder and call it all lowercase SE plugins, exactly like that. Inside of the SE plugins folder, if you do not have a game.txt file, you can right click in here, create a new text document, and we're just going to call this game.txt. It will look exactly like this. Now you need to double click this and we're going to need to edit this. If you want to make this easy on yourself, you can go over to the Cheat Device Remastered GitHub repo, come over to step number two, and just highlight the entire line here for the actual plugin itself and copy it. Inside of the text file, right click, paste, and it should look exactly like this. This is directing to our memory stick, the SE plugins folder, the Cheat Device Remastered PRX plugin, and this is enabling it. Now this is going to be important. If you have a PSP 1000 model, this is exclusive to the 1000 model, you will have to edit this to have underscore light. So you'll be pointing to Cheat Device Remastered Light.PRX if you have a 1000 model. If you have a 2000, 3000, Go, or Street model, you're going to use the standard Cheat Device Remastered plugin. However, once you have all of that set here, you can click File, Save, Close out of this. Finally, we need our actual plugin itself. So go over to where you have Cheat Device Remastered extracted, go into the Cheat Device Remastered folder, and grab the PRX file specific to your console. Again, if you have a 1000 model, you need the light version. If you have a 2000, 3000, go, or street, you'll use the standard version. Right click, copy whichever one you're using, and paste it directly next to the game.txt file. Once all of that is done, we have this edited, we have our plugin copied over, and we have the plugins within the plugins directory right here. We can go back over to our storage, right click, and eject this. Over on the Vita, whether you're connecting using USB or FTP, I've already connected using WinSCP for my client here. Once we're connected, on the left, you should navigate over to wherever you extracted out that cheat device remastered zip file. And on the right, this is going to be your Vita. So here we're going to navigate over to UX0, go into the PSPMU directory, and inside of here, the structure is identical to a PSP for the most part. But here we're going to go into PSP, and inside this PSP folder, we need to create a plugins folder if it has not been created. You can just right click new and make a new directory and call it plugins, all one word, all uppercase. Inside of the plugins folder, right click the cheat device remastered folder. Again, this is the one that has the scripts and the INI files and such. Just right click this folder and upload it into your plugins folder. Once everything has been uploaded, we're going to go up one folder up another folder, and inside of SE plugins, double click this. Now go into your Cheat Device Remastered folder, grab the Cheat Device Remastered.prx file, and this is the only file that we're going to upload in here. Next up, we do need our game.txt file. So you should hopefully have one there. If you do not have one, you can just right click, create a new file, and call it game.txt exactly like that. Now, once that is created, or if you have one here, you can right click this and edit it just like this. And it should look a little something like this here within the editor window. Now, this is going to be important. If you have any other plugins, mainly the native resolution patch plugin, this is going to have to run before those. So it would probably just be best to set it to run as the first line. So I would actually just make a enter right there and create a new line, but make this the first plugin if you can. Just like on the PSP, we can go over to the GitHub page if you want to make this easy. Just find this string right here, and we can highlight this, right click and copy it. And over here in our editor, right click and paste it. It should look exactly like this here. This is going to signify that it has been enabled. I should probably actually edit this one right here, so I'm just going to remove that. But there we go, should look a little something like that. You can now go ahead and save this, close out of here, 
and it should upload. I'm also going to double check this, just make sure it's all good. And there we go. Looks a little something like that. So we can close out of this. And at this point, we can just disconnect from our Vita. All right, now with the game or games copied over, the plugins copied over as well too, and everything set up, there's a couple more steps that we have to take here. Don't worry, it's super simple. So for this, once you're over at your PSP's XMB, press the select button to bring up the VSH menu. And you'll want to change the CPU game clock to 333 over 166. Next up, we can check everything within our recovery menu. So scroll down to recovery menu and launch this. Once the recovery menu opens up, here you can go down to plugins, enter plugins, and you should find your cheat device remastered has been enabled. That is good, that means everything is on the right track. Once that's done, go back and come up to the main menu. Now go over to your CPU speed, and make sure that UMD slash ISO has been set to 333 over 166. Excellent. Now we can go back one more time. We're going to need to go down to advanced, go into the advanced configuration, and you'll need to set force high memory layout to enabled. And once this has been enabled, those are the only other settings that we have to do. Keep in mind, if you're on a 1000 model, this might not really matter here because you're going to be using the light version and the 1000 model does not have the extra RAM needed for the high memory layout. However, once we have all of those set up, we can now go back, go back one more time, and we're now going to exit recovery menu. So I promise you now with all of that done, you are ready to game. With that being said, go down to your game directory, go to your memory stick, find the game you want to launch, and go ahead launch it. Now you'll notice if you did this properly, once you load in here, you should get a pop-up showing that Cheat Device Remastered is now ready. So for this, you'll have to press the L1 button if you're using a controller, or the left shoulder button on the PSP itself, combined with up on the D-pad. Now, once you press the both of those, as you can see, you can scroll up and down right here, just like this. Let's actually go ahead and spawn somewhere else. I think that would be better to, well, how about this? Bellevue Park. Here we go. So, it just works a little something like that. Now, when you're working through everything here, let's go ahead and give this another shot. We can just do L and up to bring this up. And here, once you go through everything, you can just press the up and down buttons to navigate, press X to enable or disable something. I'm going to keep infinite health and armor enabled. And you can, of course, you know, go through all of these, press left and right to change all of your settings on here. I'm going to do hover bike and car, reverse gravity, why not? And you can just have a lot more fun right here. There's just a ton of options that you can check out. This is actually a little too downtrodden for me so how about sunny we're going to keep it to that so for example if you want to change all of this like with the player information here unlimited ammo no reloading you can increase your walking speed why not you can make yourself invisible i suppose or yeah, actually yeah that did work so you can make yourself invisible make a heavy player aim of death just a lot that you can do here indestructible vehicles are great if you want to lock doors so you can't be pulled out of a car like that that works real well oh wow behave like a tank all right that's cool and there's just so much more that you can do here as you can see there's even game options that you can check out like the developer flag and all this even like skipping the intro movies as well too that's just great really i can't stress this enough but just a infinite amount of options that you have right here once this is all dialed in and of course you can save your settings if you want to so when you save them they're all going to auto load the next time you bring this up wait w what happens if you spawn a fairy did i did I crash the game? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, no, would you look at that? I actually crashed it here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, exit out of this and try to go back in. Maybe uh, maybe don't do the fairy with everything enabled. All right, so let's go ahead and give this another shot. As you can see here, though, I did end up reloading the game. And thankfully, because that config setting, all of my same configs that I had here have already been set up. Let's try and spawn something a little more tame here, but we can go ahead and bring up the... 
here we go yeah the leone sentinel and as you can see uh well it is floating and i can totally fly around with this car which has been uh one of my favorite things to do in all honesty like this is something i've always wanted to do with cheat device but just uh literally fly through all of liberty city something that you can't do with the dodo <laughs> Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Hopefully you all can have some fun with this here on your PSP or Vita. Uh, just get a little more life out of it because like I said, this is something that I've definitely wanted to try before. However, I didn't have luck with it back in the day, but using Cheat Device Remastered, it's been pretty seamless, thankfully. So awesome job to Freakler for really rebuilding and remastering this, so to speak. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. I'm going to have some more fun flying around Liberty City. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.